uh, on time today, so let's do this. We are on episode two, starved for help. Let's do this. Well, a message. Okay. So right then. In the last episode, this happens. I know who you are. Let's been all by yourself through this yeah I want my parents to come home now and you you keep an eye on that front door you're our lookout it's Doug you got it and I'm Carly okay Carly you'll shift in with Doug you got it boss <laughs> son of a bitch one of them is bitten we reason with him with the bloody end of an axe handle maybe nobody threatens my boy and I don't give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. a new day, a new episode. Let's do this. So now what I'm thinking is I'm going to be doing an episode every single day this week. Started yesterday. Today is Monday. And I've and it should be actually going until Thursday. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. Well, it, <laughs> I still can't believe we went characters. through all that commissary food in three months. The guy's the same, but I don't know it who the like so much at the time. Who the guy is? Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. Last night, I heard your friend Doug laying in bed just naming types of pie. It was driving me nuts. I think he's starting to lose it. He's not the only one. Won't you cut him some slack? Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. Or mishandling it, if you ask Kenny. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I'll worry about Clementine, too. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor end. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. Uh, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Heart problems or not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Okay. Kill it, dude. Don't know what your name is. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. Yeah, I know. 
I'm just really freaking hungry. Aren't we all? Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Jesus oh. Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up. We've gotta help him. Please. Ben, shut me yeah, up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Was he bitten? Bitten? No, I swear. Hurry, please, hurry. <laughs> Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Walkers. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! This can't be happening. Do you think you can get it open? Lee, do something! Please! Get me Why out would of somebody this! somebody do this? I never asked him back. Why is this happening to us? Hurry! Uh, uh, forget it. There has to like be a way out of this. Lift ordinance. You're not cutting through that. Come on, do something! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! No! 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 Try the trap again. Anything? No. Oh, he's gonna die. Ah! Oh god! Shit. Is he... He passed out. If he's alive, grab him and let's go! There's a... There was walkers. Behind you! Travis! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Well, he's dead. No! I also actually barricaded the motel up. So about that, I mean, I just wanted to. Best thing is, that's gonna be a thumbnail.
Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! My God! What happened? What the hell Who's are that? these? Don't have time to explain. Please, Shit! Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat! Okay? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, your mouth. I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Come on, Lily, these are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help can Mark go, with the can wall? Can I just kill him? It's annoying as fuck. Or is that like a girl from fucking... Don't do not know like Emily. You think this is easy right. for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <laughs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well... You've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? My dad gave it to me for my birthday. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Okay, then. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Want something to eat? Here, Ben. 
After what you've been through, seems like you could use a pick-me-up. Seriously? I know food's scarce. This is really... I really appreciate it, man. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Kenny, hey mate. Want something to eat? Hey Nathan, I hey, I got this game, I'm stuck in the drugstore where you have to get outside. Right, what you have to do is yeah, basically Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Have sure, you got I'm handed over. I'm starved. Thanks. Well, the oh. Is either the fire axe? I think it's a fire axe. Have you got it? Not such an easy job, is it? What I can do is I can link I you my past you. broadcast I don't know from how yesterday. I completed the whole walking dead walking dead episode. Choice. Hey. Thanks for looking out for me and my family. Yeah, of course. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened Try to that. my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Right then. How's it going, Lee? From up here, it looks like you're playing favorites. Well, I'm not. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Lily, I, uh... I see how it is, Lee. Talk to you later, okay? Oh... Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah, but he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think sure. about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Okay then. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. Was that or the walkers? Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Yeah, so basically, hope. Oh, okay, doesn't. Okay. Can't get past it apparently. 
But we do need to obviously start getting out of this motel we soon. Talk about you and Kenny. What about us? The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Again, so let's go speak to Kataja. Kataja? I need space, Lee. Oh, sorry. Shit happens. Yeah. Sturdy, but it's not gonna hold up forever, just like the rest of this place. You should probably hold like the back and on that rail. Hey, Doug. <coughs> ah. What's up, Lee? Think Katja can save that guy? Maybe. I mean, I know about computers, but that doesn't mean I can fix a calculator. But you probably could fix a calculator. Well, yeah. Good point. Sorry I ran out before I could give you any food. That's okay, Lee. You don't need to be saving my life all the time. What are you working on, Doug? I've worked up a little warning system for outside. Does it work? It should. We'll have to wait and see. Take it easy, Doug. You too, Lee. Okay, so who else have we got to speak to? Is that... it's him. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Is you just... Speak to Mark. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kadja can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Oh, it's so annoying. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Sorry, there's, there just wasn't enough food to go around. I understand. Gotta be hard to make those decisions. Just get me next time. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? No. Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh. And that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? No, that's not what I said. Whatever. I got work to do. Ken! Lee! Come here, please. Oh, God. What's happening? He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Oh. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Sure. Well, at least Maybe it's the... not our problem anymore. Like the... What about the other kid? <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I'm I got him. 
立て止まっけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけけ
I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. Getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're gonna cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always fucking this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it off for yourself. What should we do? Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. Hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> You oh, shit! Asshole. The world out here is going to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Oh my god. We can't go looting like Daisy. Cause like we'll not take his crossbow. Then we'll be good and dandy. No, no, no. Okay. Do the, the dairy probably. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Oh. Oh, wow. Holy you fuck. guys must know a thing or two about running wire. Had a guy who did, yeah. This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. Oh, wow. You've got enough electricity to run the whole place. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Lily. She's tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. Thanks for having us. We brought some gasoline on good faith. We're starved. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Holy moly! Sorry. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. So I do. We can bring her here. We but can I could help. Out. I know oh, when I originally oh, and that was a good thing. This that was. Answered. I apologize about this. But when I got it back, well, I the original release date in 2012, I gave up. Literally, I don't. I didn't know what to do. So I just gave up. And I'm back on it. A couple of years later. It'd be nice to have some fine. To help out around here again. Danny, We've been watching like a million tutorials. Tutorials. Walkthroughs. Why don't I head back go. with the cool. food and round up everyone for the trip back here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. No problem. Ben can come with me. Take this. All right. See you later. See you, dudes. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? 
Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Right then. I guess I talked to Mark first. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start walking this way. So to Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back in the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. Let's hope so. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Who do you think he was? It doesn't matter. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Well, it's useless without gas. We might need food. <laughs> 
But the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. These folks are just delaying the inevitable. This place is gonna fall apart, just like everywhere else. <sighs> Maybe you're right. There's another one. I see it. He could be alive still, though. I don't know how he would be. Oh, chop his hands off. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> How are you gonna fucking get back in though? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Little help here, Lee. I guess you can just like run and jump in. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had an agreement! Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out! Stuck in the dirt. I got you now. Jesus. No fuel. Of course. Come on now. Get down. Hey, let's talk this out. Show yourself. If you really think you can fuck with us, I can do this all day. So we're trying to get the blades. Uh -huh. Give us the food. Is that now we're trying to slide it? I see you. Get out of The game. We can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit! What happened? Shit! It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to you move. Really think you can fuck with us? Try to. It's not like we are doing this. I can talk. Oh shit! Another one. How many of those things did we push down? So there's like four. Oh shit! It's live. I do think you was doing it. You okay? Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Oh shit. Get out 
of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee, what's wrong? Bandits. There was a goddamn ambush out there! Holy shit, are, are you okay? Bandits here? On our property? Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out. God damn, it hurts. Hey, y'all! Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just... Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Damn it! Doug said this place was safe. So much for your deal. Those shitheads broke the agreement. Look, I'm sorry, Lee. If I had any inkling they were gonna give you guys trouble, well, we would have gone out there with you. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. Mm, yeah. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Doc? Since Doug ate half the biscuits on the way to get us, I had them stay back. I still don't think we should be trying to stay here, and someone's gotta watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. They seem nice-ish people. I just go find them. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. Let's go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Close. 
here. Oh shit, you found it? Man, oh. You see anybody? Can't tell. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these recently. There's a box and a gasoline can. Empty. Oh, well, I guess I can. Nothing. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. They haven't got kids out. Oh my god. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Go game. Just water. Go game, not go game, Nathan. How are you finding it? Is it is this your first time playing? Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. Or not. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Dunno. We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Oh. Okay, cool. Yeah, I could. I gave up on the first time, so I just left it until now, and I'm on episode two right now. Yuck! I don't need that. Well, I didn't get ambushed from somewhere that way. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Uh, hey, camera. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? 
No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, right. You did say she was running things for you. Sounds like you picked a good leader. And we didn't really pick how she picked herself. Gas can. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Back to the vent, the vent's a tent. Is that Clem's heart? Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy. And shot my friend. I don't know where they are. But they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Screw this. Y'all wave them guns like you're looking to die. She's looking to die, actually. Shit! What the hell did you do that for? We had a deal with them. Justice. They've killed too many people. Jeez, whatever, Tex. I mean, I know she was crazy, but damn. She was crazy. <sighs> Should I go before she comes back? It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Take the crossbow. Nice. Come on. Was a hell of a ride, huh? He was. What? You were a madman back there. Took that crazy bitch down. You're back. What happened? Lee took care of it. The crazies. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody, then. Why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What the fuck happened there? What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. 
Everyone's hungry, and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Right then. Hello. You really like that gun. What's not to like? It's just a gun. That's where you're wrong. This is Charlotte. She's as faithful as a starving hound when you got a bone in your pocket. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Okay. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy with a crossbow pointed right at my head. So I had to kill her. Jesus Christ! Did you at least get some goddamn food? No, nothing. I knew it. It was a mistake coming here. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. Yeah, it is. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. 
So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, that's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Right then, so I guess we could train there. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Just says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> I cannot know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! You knew I needed it. Well, you did tell me it was a birthday present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that you know? cow, Clem? She's pretty. Yeah. Pretty cow. Hey there, Andy. <laughs> I don't yep. know what the fuck that was. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Thanks. Yep. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. <laughs> yep. She looks skinny. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm. <laughs> It smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> Kids. Has to be something around the. Uh... No, I not 
Hey dudes, how are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Playing The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 2, Stabbed for Help. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. <laughs> I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Dog, go. Okay. If you don't know what part we are on, we are on. We're actually on the John Derry thing. John Derry. Oh God, part no. I don't think I should do that. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff, and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is, we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something, and I'll have this thing off in a second. You what are the hiding walkers? Farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Just axe it. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Ooh. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. I did not go there. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. Oh. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. <sighs> Died in something. Hey, guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hey. Hello. Hey. Yes, hey. How's it going? Hey, dude. I see you. I see you. I... Senpai has been noticed. Hey there, Andy. Senpai has been noticed. Yeah. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Lol. <laughs> Too easy. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hmm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Zempa has been noticed. Zempa. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Fuck. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Huh. You got a screwdriver? For what? Uh, uh never mind. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, 
They come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. Danny needs something again. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Do I have Twitter? Yes, I do. If you want to know my Twitter, it's basically the same as my username right now. It's at I default thirteen thirty seven. You'll get me. You can follow me. Okay. I tweet. Let's do this. When? False alarm. I'm back. I'm Fuck. back. Fuck you. So yep, yeah, like I was saying, I tweet just randomly during the day, and it was a tweet when I'm gonna stream. I saw something. Fence There's posts. some fence posts. Put that in there. So they're hiding something in there. It could. I'm thinking it's walkers. What the fuck is that? Is that like? It's a feeding trough. Like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Okay. If you want to, if you want to follow, obviously you can. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? How fuck with the generators then? <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Just disable it. Disabled. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. We need to fully like crack a wire. Glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. We're clueless about this stuff. Okay, cue. Check that out. Check that out of the stream. We need to like break the electric fence somehow. Like fuck the wires. <gasps> so fuck the wires up. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. Well, I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. I uh, you know what I'm gonna do. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came. I'm gonna fuck something up.
can I take that saw and break one of the... Actually, what? I can break this swing. I did say in the... at the start of it I was going to fuck, fuck this swing up. If I can. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Oh. I don't need to, I need to break something. What do I break? Anything. I can break. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Hmm. I don't know honestly what to break. I go just fuck the like same thing. station for the cow. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? There may be something going on with that barn. I'm telling you, Lee. The longer we stay here, the more trouble we're getting ourselves into. And what exactly do you think I'm supposed to do about it? If you want to go in there and start rooting through other people's shit, then get to it. But if it's up to me, we should just take our food and go. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay. Um, can I just like... Fuck the corner up. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Okay, it's alright. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Alrighty then. Oh, fuck, they're distracting Kenny. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Alright, good to hear. Trying to distract him, Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. I would have thought the fence at first, but. I normally do stream every single day, 7 p.m., 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in GMT. So maybe, maybe not. Depends what time you start and what time you stop. I just need something to fuck with. We'll, uh, we'll finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, yeah. Don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. 
before she died. We met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. The thing is, if I fuck something up, the walkers will be coming. Storing gasoline all over the property. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Can't forget yeah. then. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. Yeah. Doesn't oh, look is that all what you say? I guess that's the point. What I can do is I can go back to Kenny's thing and found something. I need to blow that tank over there. Just blow up that tank. I picked up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Try distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's got to be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. I'll just, just try and do it now. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Fuck. How about we just kill him? Hey there, Andy. Yep. Alrighty then. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Alrighty then. Okay then. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. You guys having fun? Uh huh. <laughs> Looks like it. Capper. So, Larry, it uh, looks like you're getting along with Brenda pretty well. You know, for a nice change of pace, how about you try and mind in your own fucking business? Hey, I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. I could even know what to fuck around with. Turn that off. Wow. 
Wow, what's that? There you go. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it! Ah, oh, oh, son of a fuck! Fuck! Take forever. Boom. Now we can go find what the fuck is over there. I'm gonna go fuck this up. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idiot brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Holy fuck. So they're trying to kill us. Oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse me, miss. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago and ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Some kind of lotion. I could use a shave. Gauze pads. What the fuck are they doing to Mark? Oh, 
Holy fuck. Dude, holy fuck. We're just fucked. To you. He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Oh, I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda. Tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. They uh, are. That's not a very nice thing to imply. I don't give a fuck. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. You got no problem, walkers. Holy fuck. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hand! You gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you sick <coughs> fucking bastards! <coughs> Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the Me, goddamn Dad, door stop. down! Holy fuck. It was a person. I ate meat from a person. Does that mean I'm gonna turn into... No, no Clem. It, it, it doesn't work like that. If he would have stopped us in time! Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! 
This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. I'll try to anyway. You're worse than the walker! Dad, please! Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads off and, and make you swallow them! Hmm. Come on! I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, Easy! Uh, Oh my god. Later. But right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can still save him. I wish she could, believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember I know. what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. Holy fuck. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee. I need you! Please help me! Okay. Uh, Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Hey, Kenny, 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 Kenny. Wake Kenny, up! Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. You're right, Kenny. Let's get you this over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! Stay away. Get off me! Don't do this! No, no, no! I'm strong on you, mate. Let go of me! I'll kill you. I'll kill you both. No! Please! Oh my god, dude. Kenny, like... No! Holy fuck, you actually killed him. Oh there my god. I'm sorry. I Don't know you it. fucking touch me! Clementine. Clem. Oh my okay. god. Why, Lee? Lily said he Too wasn't much dead. Salt work. <laughs> I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. <laughs> I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something Salt. else. Something hopeful. Tea. Like what? How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes we're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? Not yet. I'm working on it. Allow <laughs> his fucked. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Uh uh. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Is 
Is that the keeper get from? Away. I just need to. I told you to get the fuck away. Is that the keeper from Evil Win now? Wait, stop to Lily. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Yes. Your permission. Do what you have to do. Thank you. Search. Oh boy. Oh uh, boy. Oh my God. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture. Hmm. If you want to get out, sure, why not? Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Damn, nice one. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Oh, you forget how she works. You got it? Yeah. One more should do it. I can't believe it actually fucking worked. Like, oh my god. I totally have a waterfall. It's amazing. Well, there's our way out, Lee. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. It's too small for us to fit through. Clementine? Brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. Come on, Clem. Be brave. Come on. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. So we're in a meat place, are we now? Human slaughterhouse.
can like slowly slide it open. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. Ugh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh god, what's wrong with these people? A lot. Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's, go. Let's go. Stay close. Okay, go. Fucking kill him, bitch. This is bullshit. Damn it, do this. Damn it, do that. Okay. Love is cool. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit! Just guarding the place, like you said. People sitting out in the rain like damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Take one to keep and kill the rest. Can I pick which one to keep alive? Not the kid. I'm going to lead on the trail. What's he doing there? I don't know. know. This is my favorite part, too. When I let one think they can just walk we'll right out. out. Together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's gonna walk out. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. What's he doing out there? I don't, don't know. See where he is now. I don't know where the fucking door is. Lee, focus. Where's Danny? Don't know what door is. See where he is now. Don't know what the fucking door is. It's around. It's around here somewhere. What's he doing out there? I don't know. See where he is now. Keep your eye open. Holy fuck. So that's how you open the fuck that's how you open the door. Oh. Where's my family, asshole? You can't have them. We need the vet. No! Cat! Lee, come on! Just go. I won't be far behind. Ah, you see? You understand now, don't you? You can have me. Cool. It's how the world works now. Get part of yourself so others can live. In this case, give all of yourself. Cannibalism is not the answer. Aren't the walkers eating enough of us? You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. Do it then. And. Oh, 
Oh fuck. God, no! Katja! Just go. I'll keep Clementine safe. Did get your attention. We heard screams from the barn. What's going on? These people are fucking crazy. I knew it. I told you we couldn't trust them. Where is everybody? What can we do to help? Larry's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us. Jesus, that's sick. They've still got Doc and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kitty is. All right, we're coming in to help. No. If we storm the house, we'll cause a panic. You two try to find a way around to the back. I'll head to the front. You got it. Come on. Cool. This way. Wait, are you sure? Yes. No. Yes. wrong move.
Think about what you're doing. It doesn't have to end like this. I'll kill her, Lee. Just let me go. Stay back! Don't do anything stupid! I'm not gonna try to. Let her go, Brenda. Please, let's do it. I'll do it! Please. I don't want to kill you, Lee. Please don't make this any worse. I get killed. Just stop. Well, I'm going to come back. I said, don't move, asshole! Don't you fucking hurt him! Oh my god! Let him go, goddammit! Oh. That ain't gonna happen! Andy, don't! Shut up! Ah. Ah. <sighs> Andy! Who the fuck do you people think you are? Look at what you've done! Calm down. Calm down! What for, huh? All we wanted was some goddamn gasoline! I was like, you guys can really feel the best after this, man. No! Kenny! Lily, help! Lily? Face looks a little bit bruised now. Jesus, I think it's gone. Come on, let's go. Is that, Is that all you got, Lee? <laughs> you ain't shit. Give me the gold. It's over! Fuck you! This dude is dead if I'm gonna get out here! You... You all fucked! They're dead. They're both dead! What did you do? What the fuck did you do? Well, we met the wall. Don't you dare walk away from me, Lee! What are you gonna do, Lee? Okay. Get back here and finish this, Lee! I look like... Get 
Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! Get the fish. Lee! Hey, Lee. I'm sorry for leaving the motor in unattended. I never thought a laser pointer would be the thing that saved our lives. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. Were they really chopping up people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine ate some. Oh, it's my fault. I panicked and didn't stop her. Oh. Were you guys able to salvage anything good from the dairy? Not really. St. John's took everything I had before the place got completely overrun with walkers. Oh, I was able to grab a couple of your things back while uh, Brenda wasn't looking. It doesn't work. You have any use for it, Doug? It's just a basic camcorder. The save lot's cheapy. Let me check it out, see if I can get it working. <sighs> How are you doing? I'll be fine. Just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. Fallout 4. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with I'm you. With We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Yes, they were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark, and they were going to kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Yes, I think so. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Hello? Figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. It has to be a drop. Drop. It has to be a drop. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. 
If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Well, what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Supplies? I'll take it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More Most food supplies. in here. Got a box of food here. Food. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. That's it. Here, Clem. Want some... Uh, batteries? Hey, Lee. You know that camcorder? I got it working. You might want to see this. Done, pal. And Ain't nothing left. Okay. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases, but it's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get them out of all this madness. <laughs> Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. He did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up then. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. You're so full of bullshit! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort all this out, all right? We can sort this out! I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! 